So there's obviously, I think, three three big plays to talk about. The one I'll ask about is the um, it was the fourth down. You had just seen an injury to Charverius, so you had to cover Mike Evans because you, you blitzed Isaiah Oliver. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's a lot of responsibility, obviously, on that play. What, what was going through your mind and, and kind of what was your assignment on that play? Um, we sent the blitz. Uh, had to pick up Mike. You know, it was a uh, fourth down, big play. Uh, Mike, uh, he ran like a flat and then turned it up into a wheel. Um, you know, just executing my job, you know, standing inside out on him, you know, playing with my eyes. And uh, seeing that Baker threw it up, you know, got to locate the ball, see how high it was. I just wanted to play through the hands of Mike. You know, he's one of the best, you know, receivers in the league when it comes to the jump ball. So uh, just played through the hands of him and um, executed my job. And to yes. get your first interception to contribute on this team, the first time you're truly asked to because of an injury, what's that feel like as a rookie to be able to do that? Um, you know, uh, somebody just said over there, you know, and how, the same way I feel, you know, the biggest, you know, the biggest thing you can ask for, you know, is for a young guy to be ready, you know. Um, and I just, every week, you know, I've been just preparing, you know, for that day. Never knew when that day was going to come, but, you know, just preparing, you know, every day consistently. We're working hard, meeting extra time with the coach, you know. And when my number was called today, you know, I was fortunate enough to go out there and execute the job. How much did Deshaun and both tell Noah help you get ready for the Every step of the way. You know, I've been here since day one with them guys and uh, just watching them, watching how they prepare, watching how they watch film. Um, and the DB coach, our DB coach too, he's a hell of a guy, man. Um, all of them, the whole the whole secondary, you know, they just been great role models, great leaders for me, um, helping me through this transition to the NFL. And I'm glad I would go out there and help them today. How much fun are you guys having out there? I know it's a crazy game, but you guys are causing chaos out there like you are. Are you, are you able to kind of enjoy it at the moment? I'm always, especially me, I'm always enjoying it. You know, you out there with Nick Bosa, Fred Warner, you know, all these great guys, Chase Young, you know, how can you not enjoy it? You know, you live in a dream literally walking in my dream. So um, I'm enjoying every moment, you know, every little detail. Uh, and it's just been amazing for me. I, I, know you're, I know you're, I think you're watching on the sideline, but how, are you able to appreciate how, how Brock plays out there in the quarterback and I was able to have a perfect passer rating in a game like today? Brock's preparation throughout the week, man. I already know what Brock's going to do when he comes in, you know, on these Sundays. Uh, I go against Brock, you know, throughout the week, helping him prepare for other teams. And I'm always, you know, trying to give him the best look I can, you know, and Brock's, he, he's one guy who he always makes the right play, you know, in practice. So um, big respect, a lot of respect to Brock and um, the way he prepares. And uh, Sunday, just take care of himself, take care of himself when you prepare for the week like that. On the interception, do you keep the football? Where's the football at? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know we got to find that, though. Um, I, I grabbed it and then uh, I lost. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know where is that, but I definitely want that ball back. <laughs> Yeah, Doc probably got it. They probably give it to me tomorrow or something. So I don't know. When you get it back, where's it gonna go? Oh, uh, home. I'm gonna put it in the case, man. That's gonna be a, that's history right there. Did you yeah. have a feeling that they were gonna right after Talano went out and you came in? Did you have a feeling they were gonna try to just target you? On yeah, that first I kind of had that feeling, you know, um, down in the game. You know, you're looking for for something to get you going. Rookie come in, haven't been in all year. Um, it's the right thing to do, you know, to try to attack the rookie. But uh, you know, I was ready for it. Give me yeah. some, you may, you may. Didn't know if you might have had a tackle on your actual first snap. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. I think with Mike, Mike Evans. Yeah, oh, okay. a tackle on Mike Evans on first snap. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So do you want to you a leader, which is unusual? Because <laughs> you're a rookie and you barely played on defense. Uh, mm-hmm. But I know that's kind of your thing growing up you know, throughout your uh, career. But how have you been able to make that impression, given the role you've had this season? Um. You know, no matter what role you got on a team, you know, a leader can be can be anybody in any role. You know, somebody who's willing to have a tough conversation with you, you know, talk to you, cheer you up, be your biggest supporter, you know, and always there if you need them. You know, so uh, that, w- that was kind of my role, you know, um, throughout this whole season, you know, just waiting my turn, but, you know, still trying to tell the guys what I see. They tell me what they see, having a lot of conversations, um, cheering them up when they down, you know, being their biggest supporter when they make plays. Uh, and that's just me who I am as a person, you know, so um, thanks to Demo, you know, for calling me a leader, but yeah. <laughs>